My name is Amanda Walker. I'm a teacher at University Academy in Panama City, Florida. I teach sixth grade Earth and Space Science, and I would like to welcome you to my science lab. Well, it was. I am applying for the Shell Lab Makeover because our school and surrounding area was devastated by the effects of Hurricane Michael on October 10th, 2018. We all left school on October 7th, prior to a three-day weekend, thinking that we would see each other Tuesday. A lab was set up right back here on my tinker table for us to explore the concepts of the law of superposition. Little did I know that that three-day weekend was going to turn into a 30-day break because we were unable to return to our school. This is our middle school wing. It once had ceilings and work on the walls and students in all of our classrooms. And at this time, we're actually outside, and I'll take you out there as well, in our modular campus until we're able to return to our school home next fall. Our school has had three, yes, three first days of school. Our first day of school this year, of course, was at our campus. Then we returned to school for the second time on November 6, 2018, following Hurricane Michael. We were housed at two locations out at the beach because that's the only place in Panama City that you could find a roof on two separate campuses where we had our K through five students educated in ballrooms at a resort and our six through eight students were housed at Gulf Beach Baptist Church. Then we had our third first day of school on January 7th, 2019, here at our campus in modular classrooms. This one's mine. Welcome to my lab 2.0. That's pretty common. My two uploads. I got a little sideways, much like the trees are in our area. But in all seriousness, I do want to share with you the limitedness of our resources in our science classrooms. My modular does not have any running water. It has no sinks and our resources are limited pretty severely to things like paper plates, mason jars. The equipment that we were able to salvage from the building equates to little more than hand lenses, thermometers, things that may have been plastic survived, but anything that was paper or glass was either severely damaged or we had to throw it away because it wasn't safe for student use. At this time, we're housed in our modular buildings, which we're making the best of it, and the students have been amazing. So what I would love to share with you is how our classroom looks now. This is our sink. I have snowman soap. As you can see, it might do the job, but it's certainly not ideal. Here we have my storage unit. It's an old filing cabinet, and up here we have a hurricane tracking chart, because of course we do. Do you see these things? These are the kinds of things that survived Hurricane Michael while our other lab equipment, things like our goggles, gloves, graduated cylinders, those are all gone. But these made it. Inside this cabinet, you can kind of get an idea of what we're working with. It has some foil, toothpicks, a little bit of plastic wrap, and a half-used bottle of gloves. For additional storage, I decided to put two of our lab tables together and put up some $2 fabric so that we could kind of hide things underneath. At this time, it's the main storage in our classroom because we lack any bookshelves or cabinetry to keep things safely away from students. To conclude this video submission, I would like to thank you for your time. I know that you're all going to have very worthy submissions coming in from all over the nation. And I would just ask that you would carefully consider our school home, our community, which is in the process of rebuilding that will take years to try and make our school a whole place, a place where students can come in and we can further the love and cause of science by encouraging our students in our classrooms, even if in their personal lives they have many challenges yet to face. I thank you for your consideration. I wish you the very best of luck. I don't envy your job, as I know how many wonderful educators will apply. Thank you for your kind consideration, and we wish you the very best of luck in finding a worthy lab to make over. We hope you'll consider ours. Thank you very much, 850 Strong, UA Strong.